Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another my restaurant video So as many of you know for the last two weeks or so my restaurant has unfortunately not gotten a single update Now obviously the reason for this is because of the fact that they have been working on the brand new auction house update But of course due to the fact of the size of the update and the complexity of what exactly they are trying to accomplish here It has unfortunately been pushed back a couple of times already from the initial projected time that Preston and David wanted to have it out Now if you remember in my previous my restaurant video I told you guys that unfortunately the update would not be making its release this last weekend that just passed right now but in that same tweet Preston did go ahead and say that later on this week he was going to go ahead and share with us a concrete date on when exactly we would be getting the update 100% confirmed and it looks like today was the day that we have finally been waiting for just a couple of minutes ago Preston went ahead and made a tweet that honestly not only was it extremely straightforward but it also 100% confirms that the update will indeed be coming out this Saturday in the background right now you can see that he just went ahead and said nothing else but update is this Saturday now it's really important to note a couple of things things in this tweet the fact that there is no maybe or slated or any of those words that kind of puts it right on the edge this tweet 100 definitely confirms that there will not be any more delays and it will 100 be releasing on saturday the reason i am saying this is because i know there is still going to be that one person out there that's going to be writing in the comments and saying oh it's just going to get delayed again and honestly i am not going to sit here and go back and forth with every single comment on why exactly that isn't going to be the case for this weekend but what i will like to add along with this is the fact that yes unfortunately real life things do happen so we definitely all have to keep that in mind. But the one important thing is that it seems like just about everything that they needed to get done as far as work wise and bug related wise, they have gone ahead and solved it and they are ready for the release. And this information is coming straight from Preston. So my suggestion is ignore what everybody else is telling you. I sometimes sit down and actually read the chat logs of the big games discord and it's actually hilarious. The amount of times that I've seen people say that I spread false information is actually hysterical, especially considering the fact that I provide proof and I quote exactly what the developers say so again i will go ahead and say that if anybody does tell you that i say false information just go ahead and let them know that they're delusional i don't really care who it is you can also go ahead and redirect them to me because my discord dms are always open so as i was in the middle of recording this video david went ahead and just leaked out two images so in the background right now i'm going to be showing you the very first one that he shared with us it is obviously going to be the location of where all the limited items are which as you can tell right here it is going to be located on the backhand side of the big shop right in front of where they have all of the fan arts on the wall now something really interesting about this picture is if you take a look they have two of the items already kind of like programmed into the showcase stand on the very start you can see two things which is the futuristic table as well as the futuristic chair if you guys have no idea what those two items look like i would highly suggest that you go and check out my previous leak video where i do go ahead and showcase these two separate items now the next one that i'm going to be showing on the screen we don't actually have a name for this but david did go ahead and post this along with the previous picture that i just showed you and this kind of looks like some type of i guess you could say futuristic statue or some ice statue it is very possible that this could be a limited item or it could very well be a brand new kind of like vip package that we have to pay robux for if for some reason this is a limited item i can probably see this being one of the more rare items i honestly think it looks a lot better than the vip statue so i'm gonna be trying my very best to get one of those because dude that thing looks sick but anyways man i'm super excited for this we've been waiting for quite some time now it's probably gonna be a month by the time that this update actually does release that we've been waiting over the last couple of days there's been about 150 sometimes even 250 players on the test server on top of that there's well over 2,000 items in the auction house on the test server right now and honestly while at first it did kind of start off by people putting ridiculous prices on a bunch of different furniture it does seem like it's kind of leveled out a little bit like there's still the crazy people that are putting stuff up for billions of dollars but there does seem to be quite the handful of people that are going with reasonable prices which does kind of lead me to the next thing that I want to say I feel like there's been a lot of confusion with the auction house right now especially people that are going into the test server and seeing kind of like how everybody's using it you guys need to definitely keep in mind that the test server is an area where people don't really have anything to lose and they don't really care about it because at the end of the day they do know that that isn't the my restaurant main server so of course they're going to be putting ridiculous prices realistically when this update does drop it's going to work in favor for a lot of you that are trying to purchase golden wells maybe a jukebox a vip statue things that you would normally have to pay robux for but unfortunately you don't have the money or the robux to go ahead and purchase them in these situations the auction house is going to play a huge role and of course we can't forget about the limiteds because those are probably going to be the most expensive items in the entire auction house but anyways i wanted to go ahead and make this video as quick as possible to let you guys know on what was going on with the update if you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative make sure to drop a like on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of different content and as always make sure that you turn on notifications so you do not miss any of my videos this weekend is going to be honestly super exciting and i cannot wait but of course let me know how you guys feel in the comments i will be trying my best to reply to all of you that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video like always i will see
see you guys in the next one. Take care.